The entire gaming community wants one thing, and that's a response. Some information in regards to what is happening with Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Whether that be from Rocksteady, the Suicide Squad account, or even Warner Brothers themselves, what is actually happening with this game? It really does seem as if Suicide Squad has been left in a state of limbo. By doing so, it means that fans are making their own assumptions when it comes to this game, whether it be on YouTube comments, Twitter, forums, Instagram, any platform that is talking about Suicide Squad, someone has something to say about this game. People that do need to say something about this game is Rocksteady or even Warner Brothers themselves. What? The fact that I've mentioned Rocksteady needs to be the ones that makes the announcements, I do think that that decision is down to Warner Brothers themselves because I believe Rocksteady as a studio does not have that power that they are not obliged to tell anybody anything when it comes to this game. It's up to them when they want to release information, it's up to them how they want to deal with the promotion, it's up to them how they proceed forward. Come on, man. Do you agree with this statement or not? One of the biggest factors when it comes to Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is that people are saying that this game is not needed within the superhero genre. A life service game with battle pass is something that people do not want to play. We do not care. Although I can counteract that statement by saying there are people that I have spoken to that do want to play this and I would imagine that does follow throughout the whole gaming community because even though I can't speak to everyone, the game is still within a 50-50 split of people that like it and people that don't. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is damaging itself by not having a response or actually giving information to people once and for all and I do feel like that is a thing that is making people sit on the fence when it comes to this game. As sad as it is for me to say, the people that are hyped for the game are losing interest or losing faith within a game that they really want to play. And that is the problem that has been caused with the lack of communication. So who is the main villain when it comes to this story? Is it the fans reaction or is it the ones that have the power to let people know what is actually going on? Of course, news broke about the rumours through Twitter from Jason Schreier and since then he hasn't even commented on the situation since and said that this game is still going to come out within the state that it was and it's only going to be for a polish get out right of here man Shit. I'm saying. This is just pure speculation and I'm not saying that this is going to be the way it happens but Rocksteady might be actually doing things behind the scenes to release some information to the gaming community that makes everyone excited and happy once again. <laughs> We all know Rocksteady is a capable studio of creating wonderful games such as the Arkham Trilogy and of course their reputation is hanging on the line. Now this could be a case of them retreating and slowly rebuilding what they have worked upon to give us the best experience and the best service within the gaming niche that they have now taken a venture into. In layman terms they've looked at the reactions, they've looked at the game and they've decided to implement new things or polish or remove, I don't know exactly what to be honest but they will be trying to make the best version of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League for us to play when it finally does get released. Time is ticking for Suicide Squad as we are now in April and the game was set for a release date of May 26th and I feel like this is something that needs to be addressed as soon as possible. How we're going to receive that news I do not know, let me know down below in the comment section. When we're going to receive that news even have an estimation guess in the comment section I'm very curious to know but I do feel at this point some information needs to be given to the fans to at least bring some peace and calm when it comes to Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League amongst the gaming community. No matter what your views are when it comes to Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, let me know what you think about the current situation of this game, how Warner Brothers or Rocksteady have dealt with the upheaval and the removal of any announcements when it comes to it and I'm interested to see what you guys think within the comment section.